at the Samsung booth CES 2024 and once again Samsung has taken up quite a bit of floor space. But it's, a, it's quite a varied story inside. It's not just all about TVs and appliances. They do tell the story of the products and how they connect, how they can improve sustainability and energy. So on the sustainability side, we already know they're trying to use recycled plastics and, and other, other materials, no ink in their packaging, no single use plastics. But now it's become a point where they're talking about energy and having all the products talking to each other to help you save energy. They've done a partnership now with Tesla, so if you've got a Tesla Powerwall, your Samsung products can actually manage that energy stored in the Tesla Powerwall to make sure that it's being used efficiently, you're not wasting power, and thereby you're saving money. So that, that's a big story here. Connectivity is a huge part of the Samsung story, as is AI, and the connectivity, when it meets AI, that comes up with all these amazing results. Smart Things again, is a, a huge connection for all kinds of products, because you've got to remember, Matter is the platform that unites all different brands of smart products, and Smart Things can manage and onboard all of those devices. In fact, they do have an onboarding process where if a new smart device is connected to your network, Smart Things will detect it and ask you if you want to onboard that product. But now with smart things and the use of AI, you're getting all these various scenarios where you can you can be told when you're using too much energy, when you do need to do various other things in your house, the house is too warm or too cold. Uh, it, it, it is now making decisions on your behalf. On that aspect though, there is a safety aspect to smart things as well. And this is really good for elderly customers who they, they may use, the, the, the smarts of the home helps them stay safe. So for example, they may have fall detection on their watch, which can then talk to another device, let a family member know that there's been an accident or that they, they know that they, are, that they can have reminders from these various smart products that they need to take medication. They've got a, a doctor's appointment. So all in all, the, the smart idea of a smart home isn't just for convenience, it's now for saving energy, but also too for staying safe and keeping, keeping the elder, elderly members of our community in their homes for longer. Gaming is massive and Samsung realised this and on the stand we saw plenty of ways you can play your games, including through the Freestyle Projector, which now has a gaming hub built in. We also saw as well their new OLED flat screen monitor, which is ideal for gaming as well. But there is a really cool application of their massive wraparound Odyssey monitor. We did see it mounted on a racing chair. So if you're into your racing games, this is an ideal scenario. Now one technology that Samsung's had for quite a few years and they've improved it even further is micro LED. Still very much a commercial product. It is ideal for, for shops, shop fronts, lobbies, various other uses like that. Quality is amazing. But one thing they did showcase on the stand was a new transparent micro LED. And they did give a great example of how it could be used. So imagine yourself in a corporate box watching a sporting event. The glass of the, of the box is actually micro LED and able to display stats and information about the game you're watching. That's just one of many applications for a transparent micro LED panel that we'll no doubt we'll be seeing in stores and in other venues and stadiums around the world. Of course, we can't forget Samsung's bread and butter, their Hero TV is their Neo QLED range. And again, this year, AI is the buzzword and AI is the technology that will improve them even further. Improving them through upscaling. AI is brought in to make the image you're looking at even better in 8K, because you have gotta remember, not a lot of 8K native content around. So what they do is they use this AI library and AI intelligence to be able to render objects in AI to make them look better than ever before. Now on the appliance side, Samsung has got a fair bit to talk about here on the stand as well. And it starts with their smart hub. Their refrigerator uh, is now enabled with AI. In fact, it has cameras on board that can identify the food you're putting in your fridge. So it can keep an inventory without you having to do anything. It'll look at what you've put in the fridge and identify it and then give you a list of what's in your fridge. So you wanna mix something, you wanna create a recipe or cook dinner, it'll tell you exactly what's in your fridge and you're able to make these delightful meals. There was another combo washer dryer that we saw on the stand. So one unit 
which is both a washing machine and a dryer. And it also has the ability to, to self-dose. So you put a lot of washing powder in the bottom of the machine and actually doses itself. But the, the convenience of having a washer and a dryer in the same unit, so taking up less space, is ideal. There's also a large screen on board as well, so not only will you see all the information about your wash and the dry, but you'll also see notifications if someone's at the front door, all these other things, you, the, the meal's ready in your, in your kitchen, you'll see all that information in that product as well. It's not unusual to see people putting a dryer on top of a washing machine, but they're usually two separate products. Well, Samsung has actually combined these two, so they, they now have an all-in-one product that has a dryer on top and a washer on the bottom so that it does save a bit of space, but also just for convenience sake, it is the size of a fridge, but rather than having to buy two separate products, all you need is one.